Well, yeah, I'm in lockdown too. Gives me plenty of time to work on my series, you know, create content. And this is how it was just a few weeks ago. Yeah, life as we knew it. All of us going about our business. Brady here has got a new team to play with. You know, working together or doing our thing solo. Just being able to go out, even if it was somewhat challenging. Yeah, that was before. But no, 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 I'm not taking you down a spiral downfall of negativity. A few weeks ago, we sailed into the port of Praia on a Sunday evening. You have to report to the maritime police when you arrive on a new island. You give your boat papers, passport, and fill out a crew list. The night before, the police captain tried to call us on the VHF, but it did not go through. I did not hear him, but Natasha did. They would have guided me in, so as the captain, I was kindly reminded to do so next time by Yvonne here, who was trying to reach me as we were entering the port at night. Over coffee, I was kindly scolded by him. We decided to just walk back. It always feels good to get your legs moving when living aboard full time. And this is where we're living for the next few days. There's a filling station with a mini mart just outside. Also food stands. You're given a badge which allows you entry to the fishing pier. Now here is probably the busiest fishing pier in Cape Verde. And if you're looking for quiet time, go look elsewhere. And watch your step. So here we are at the fishing place. And uh, this is where the boat is moored. Peace. Full, calm, and with the, with the fishermen. What I mean by peaceful and calm is the sea. The boat hardly moves here. But around 7 in the morning, everything gets moving here. This is Danny, a godsend. The mechanic referred to me from Riviera to Barca. I showed him my problem, and as night was settling in, he and I found a solution. I had a broken injector mount and a whole new spare injector and mount on hand. Now he could have fixed the old one or machined the new one, but why, when we have what we need? As well, he found a leak between the cooling system and the engine block. He took out the heat exchanger so he can make and replace new gaskets. While at it, I asked him to check inside the heat exchanger and clean it if need be. He was back in the morning with everything. Danny's come back with Peace here. He's a magician, a surgeon. And look who's here. Michael's here. I'm back. Yep, that is Michael from our fun times with the Canadians in Mindelo. Cape Verde is small, man. Always someone you know. Michael. Small world. And Danny. <laughs> Danny's fixing my engine. He's the master surgeon. Doctor de motor. Man, is Danny good. He was prompt, clean, precise, and always positive. He made sure to use all parts and products I had aboard made the custom gaskets, replaced the broken screw. Then I asked him to check the impeller, which was also breaking. As well, he changed the oil and filter, which I had on hand also. While Danny was working, the sport fishing boat had to move. Kind of a delicate operation that we all pitched in for. The guys with the sport fishing boats were going to put a mooring out in the bay. Guys here just go out and do it with whatever equipment they have ready. Somos la leyenda viva. 
In the end, it cost me less than $200. Danny also fixed my kill switch. A screw had fallen loose. Danny is the man. He is a genius mechanic, doctor de motor, surgeon, and he's just done an amazing job with Simone here, and I can tell she's really happy, and Gallopan's happy. Man, great luck, great people here. And Danny's just another example of Cape Verdeans are the best, man. Even this little mother is okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Michael is cool. He's cool. Since this is the city, there are risks of break-ins. Part of my alarm system was to have a flashlight, a bullhorn, and this deterrent coming down the companionway. Police and fishermen strongly advise to lock yourself in at night, as well as locking everything tight when going out into town. We went to a big outdoor market where Natasha had her sandals fixed. We were escorted by a friend who met us in town and I knew him, but I could not place him in my memory. Where had I seen his face? He seemed really familiar and I had a serene sense of security with him showing us around. Public transportation in Praia is thorough and efficient. You can get all around the city with buses and taxis. I was looking for a new phone at the Samsung dealer, but it was closed for lunch. So our friend took us to a local place he knew. This man's face will come back to me very soon. Specials of the day included fish and these lovely pork chops, each about four dollars. Back in the boat we had visitors, yay! Again Cape Verde Swall and we are happy to have our friends from Mindelo and her sister visit. Nat came back from a shower, and here is Larissa, whom you may remember from a previous episode. Time for a memory reboot. Now I remember our escort. Just wish I could pronounce his name. This is Erninu. Erninu. Erninu Medino. Erninu Medino. He welcomed us here, as well as Ivan, at the Maritime Police. And this is where you come and do your papers. And they're extremely friendly. Very nice. Yesterday he took us on a tour around the city. And I cannot say enough good things about them. They're wonderful and pleasant, great looking and great smiles. So come here, when you come here in Praia, you have to come here to the police, call on the VHF and they will take care of you. And be careful of coronavirus. <laughs> no, they're spraying for mosquitoes. Isn't that just so funny? We had no idea what was about to come, but I had the boat and exit papers in hand. We can go this afternoon. Geez, how could we ever imagine not going to cool places like this? Accompanied by one of the fishermen we bumped into, walking around the city with all its colors, tastes, and sounds. And this, I mean, remember this? Look at all these people, goods, traffic, and exchanging. Sorry, I'm spiraling down a negative rabbit hole again. We are here to stock up on fresh produce for our trip back to Mindelo. This is the most abundant market we've seen in Cape Verde. It's amazing. We made the most of it, stocked up all we could carry, then took a cab back. You can't come here with a caddy full of groceries and pack it all into your boat. Well, then again, if you ask, you are in Cape Verde. 
here they can do just about anything. We're almost ready to go. Today is the day according to the weather predictions. We just have to give back our badges and pay for our stay. It's about 15 bucks a day. Yinobai. Nós uh, somos uma empresa cabo-verdiana. A empresa se chama Cabo Verde Ocean SA. É uma empresa que ganhou a concessão da exploração do cais do Porto da Praia. Uh, o nosso trabalho, essencialmente, é prestar um serviço a todos os operadores da pesca, desde os armadores, uh, peixeiras e tudo agentes que estão relacionados com, com o negócio da pesca. Também temos um serviço que criamos para, para oferecer a, a, as embarcações de recreio, iates e outros tipos de embarcações uh, de pesca desportiva, que podem utilizar o nosso, o nosso cais para fazer a, a tragação, eh, com segurança eh, e também podem usufruir dos serviços que nós oferecemos, desde o fornecimento de água potável, energia elétrica e, e portanto, também até a questão do abastecimento com géneros alimentícios, também podem usar o nosso cais para fazer portanto, para abastecer o, as embarcações. Nós acolhemos as, as embarcações aqui e damos condições de segurança e é um preço simbólico. This is Amilcar, he's been a precious, precious person here, lovely, lovely person, very professional, helped us a lot. It was a pleasure to be here with all the fishermen in Amilcar, and we will come back. And all marineros, people that have a yacht, don't be afraid to come to Praia, come and see Amilcar. You guys, welcome to Cais de Pesca, Porta Praia. <laughs>